Hi, I'm Lucas, and I'm from Magoosh, and today is Tuesday, at least. Well, this video is going on YouTube on Tuesday. Maybe it's not Tuesday for you. The point is, it's TOEFL Tuesdays. It's Tuesday if you're watching this. We're talking about the TOEFL, and today I'm going to give a sample answer for the first speaking task. There are six tasks on the TOEFL, and the first one is always the same type of question. It always asks you uh, for your opinion, or for a memory, or for something personal, something that you think, you believe, not like um, information about some topic that you don't know about. No, no, no. Information you know, and you choose one from many possibilities. So, for example, and this isn't a real TOEFL question, but what's your favorite animal? Well, there are many animals, so you pick one, and you explain why. Now, for a more realistic TOEFL question, and again, we are talking about the first question on the uh, speaking section. A more realistic question. Let's take a look at this question here. What qualities are important to you in clothing and why? Now notice these little red underlines on why. This is the most important point. Actually, a real TOEFL question is a little longer. It will say, give reasons and examples to support your answer, or to explain your answer. Because you need to explain why you chose these qualities. Uh, and by the way, qualities is not like how good it is, not quality, but qualities, like features, parts, aspects. How warm is it? How comfortable is it? How fashionable is it? So there are many qualities to clothing. I'm going to give a sample answer, and in my personal answer, there's no correct, no incorrect. In my answer, I'm going to talk about comfort. Now, when you actually take the test, you will have 45 seconds to answer a question like this. Tasks one and two, both have 45 seconds to answer. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to structure my answer into main idea first. Second is the uh, first main reason. Third, an example or an explanation of that reason. And then after that, possibly another reason. So I have main idea, reason, reason and possibly one more detail. I need a sixth finger here, I guess I, whatever, it's fine. And then one more detail or explanation or example of that second reason, possibly. Many people can only do main idea, reason, example, and explanation because it's a short time, that's okay. Your pronunciation, how clear you are, how comfortable you are, your grammar, your vocabulary, those are very, very important and a shorter answer with only one reason is fine. Okay, so let's hear a sample answer. And again, I'm going to have 45 seconds. On a real TOEFL, you also have 15 seconds to prepare, but I don't need the 15 seconds. I already prepared. So, I'm going to give myself a timer here. You can't see it, but I can. And here we go. I have 45 seconds to answer this same question. Uh, in clothing, I suppose the most important thing to me is how comfortable the clothes are. Because, well, I guess there are a couple different reasons for it, but most importantly, clothing should not inhibit my ability to do other activities. And comfortable clothing for the activity uh, doesn't do that. For example, if I'm riding a bike, I like to wear shorts. They're more comfortable on a bike because the pant leg doesn't get stuck in the chain as, it, as I'm cycling. Oh, what's more, just in general, wearing comfortable clothing makes life happier. It makes things nicer. Uh, so, for example, if it's really hot out, I don't want to wear long sleeves. Okay, my time is finished. Now, I did not actually finish explaining. Did you notice that? That's okay. 
if you can give a clear reason and some clear explanation, it's okay if you are cut off. You don't need to time perfectly to 45 seconds. That's all right. All right, so that's my sample answer. Uh, try it yourself. What qualities are important to you in clothing? Try to give one or two reasons and examples of that. Again, this was TOEFL Tuesday. I'm Lucas. I hope to see you next week, or come check out our TOEFL material at tofl.magoosh.com, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.